Kara Knott's mother told me today that her daughter's killer, Craig Pyre, should never see the light of day. So imagine the family's surprise when they received this notice saying that Pyre could be released early from prison because of COVID-19 concerns. Moments later, they emerged with Pyre in handcuffs. It was a shocking arrest to a horrific crime. 20-year-old Kara Knott, a student at San Diego State, strangled and then thrown from a bridge off I-15 near Poway just two days after Christmas back in 1986. Craig Pyre, a CHP officer, was convicted of murder. Premeditated killing by an on-duty police officer is probably one of the worst betrayals that law enforcement can do to members of the public. Guilty of the crime of murder. Paul Finkst prosecuted the case and Pyre was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole, which he's been denied multiple times because Pyre still maintains his innocence. But earlier this week, Kara's sister Cheryl posted this shocking message on Facebook. Dear friends, my family received terrible news that there is a real possibility that my sister, Kara Evelyn Knott's murderer, might be released early from prison any day now. This monster should never be freed. If we can't keep people who committed crimes like this in prison, why do we have prisons? Pyre apparently falls under the category of high-risk medical, meaning he's been deemed high-risk for COVID-19 complications. He's not serving a sentence of life without parole. He's been assessed as a low-risk for violence and is not a high-risk sex offender. Finkst says the prison system being cautious is not a good reason to release Pyre. Ultimately, the prison system should have to explain to the people of the state of California and to the Knott family why it is absolutely necessary, not just caution, but absolutely necessary to release somebody who committed an act like that into the public. The Department of Corrections sent us this updated mugshot of Pyre and a statement saying at this time there are no plans to expedite the release of Craig Pyre. But Kara's family is taking no chances, writing a powerful letter to the governor and asking others to do the same, ensuring Pyre, who isn't eligible for parole again until 2027, stays behind bars as long as possible. Steve Price, News 8.